Hey everybody, what's up? It is your boy Dirty Bird and welcome to my brand new talk show, Let's Talk Dirty. All right, let's get serious here. Well, hello once again, everyone, and welcome to my brand new talk show, Let's Talk Dirty. I am your host and creator of the show, Let's Talk Dirty, Dirty Bird. And I just want to thank you all for tuning in to this brand new show because I really think it is going to touch a lot of lives, not only in North America, but all around the world. And um, I don't know if you all are friends with me on Facebook or not, but if you've seen earlier this week that I have sent out a letter, you know, just basically letting everyone know that even though I do write children's books and whatnot, um, I really want to touch some adult topics here. So therefore, with this uh, Let's Talk Dirty show, it's going to be more focused towards adults. Um, I want to talk about, you know, anywhere from romance to financial issues to, um, you know, the broken heart that's actually been through, um, you know, good and bad relationships to say. Um, I want to hear from basically everyone, men and women, um, you know, and we're just going to just get positive feedback and negative feedback from just any topic that I put out there. Um, and today's topic, I really want to talk about broken hearts. Um, I find a lot of people in their lifetime, they have experienced a broken heart um, temporarily or for a long time, you know, and a lot of people are walking around with broken hearts and you may never even know it, you know, because some people are good with putting smiles on and, you know, they could have the whole world on their shoulders. So everything that glitters may not be gold sometimes. And, um, you know, a lot of women, they are in abusive relationships and they're so afraid that they can't find a decent man to really encourage them to move forward, you know, and not go backwards. Because when you do that, you can really put a woman backwards. And please don't take what I say, you know, personal. But when I say that, it's women are kind of delicate creatures already. So they need to be nurtured and actually loved and, you know, actually have the time taken out to show them, you know, the appreciation that they really do deserve because women do take a lot of responsibility, you know, that they actually have the children. A man cannot physically have a child. And, you know, I know there are a lot of homosexuals out there, whatever, you know, no matter what you are, you know, you still cannot produce a child. So the woman still has, you know, the crown on that part, as I would say, you know, and, um, they just get pushed under the rug a lot of times and so do men so I'm not gonna just sugarcoat it for the women because men also do have broken hearts a lot you know from their wives cheating on them or you know they take care of their families and a lot of times as a man they feel like you know I can't tell nobody my problems because they're gonna judge me because I'm supposed to be this macho man but instead you know they go out and do drugs and you know go find some hoe on the street and think that's fixing their problems because of their broken heart but I'm sorry to tell you that you know you're just digging a deeper and deeper hole and there's no way to come out unless if you want to come out so, you know, you really need to make sure if your heart has been broken, no matter what the circumstances are, from sexual abuse to bad relationships to you just wanting to be an asshole because, you know, you feel that society isn't giving you the paycheck that you deserve, well, pick up an extra job. But that's a whole different topic in itself, you know. But broken hearts are more deeper than that, and I just feel that if we just learn how to really love one another, you know, regardless of, you know, sexual orientation, religion, um, you know, just any walk down life's path, you know, that could just skin color, anything like that, you know, we just really need to learn how to embrace each other worldwide because, you know, we all got to go back one day and nobody really knows what's on the other side, you know, and if you do, please let me know because... <laughs> You know, I think everybody's trying to figure out, you know, what really is on that side. But anyhow, it's just crazy because a lot of things in life, you know, we really just feel that we need to be loved. But it, we need to start with loving on ourselves first. And, you know, in order to shape that broken, mended heart, we have to show ourselves that we are important first before anyone and that's easier said than done. I, I will be the first partaker to say that, you know, I've been in 
relationships before where I thought everything was okay, but I really wasn't taking my, care of myself because, you know, I thought I was happy in one relationship that I was in in the past. And, you know, I come to find out years later that that was seven years back of my life. Yes, I did learn lots of positive things. Yes, I did have had lots of good times, but that's still a long time of my life that I can't get back because, you know, I thought I was happy, but come to find out I was actually hurting myself and actually learning how to spread my wings and fly on my own, letting love come find me again, which currently I am, thank goodness. Um, you know, it's, it's scary. Life is really scary and you never know what life is going to bring to you. So I do understand if you are fearful, but at least try. I think a lot of people get stuck in an area in their life where, you know, that they feel they have to accept what they're living with. And that's not even the circumstances or the situation at all. You know, the world is really yours. You just have to want to go out there and get it. And yes, we are in a recession and yes, finances and stuff may not allow you but at least pick up a pen and paper to, you know, draw out a map of where you want to be in the next five years or next five months, you know, in my mind, that's how quickly I like to move. But everyone is different and I do understand that. But I really think that we need to encourage a lot of these broken hearts out there that we are loved. We do have people out there that are willing to support us. And I just, you know, just want to leave it as that today and we're going to touch some, some more topics as we go out through with some different sessions on this Let's Talk Dirty show. So I really hope I get some feedback and if you have any comments or anything that you would like to send in to me, you can send that to me on Facebook. My Facebook is Rob Dirty Bird. So if you're not on my Facebook friends, please add me today because like I said, um, I really would like the interaction and just anything that you would have to contribute to my show. If you think I can improve something, please tell me. Or if you would just like to add a topic to the show, please let me know. Or if you would like to just send me a good morning message, please do so. I just really want to encourage interaction with people all over the world, not just North America, but all over the world because, you know, we all are people. And that's what we need to realize. And once again, I said that we all are different, but we need to learn how to work together and fix our broken hearts. So I really appreciate you tuning in for today's show. And once again, if you don't have me on Instagram also, I'm on Instagram at robertfoster772. And today's topic was broken hearts. And I hope you enjoyed today's show. So we're going to end today's show by jamming out. Let's talk dirty. Just hold